Good evening, I'm Alex Stierkman. The state Senate's Agriculture and Natural Resources Committee voted unanimously for a bill that would allow Indiana to follow Kentucky and eight other states in allowing farmers to grow industrial hemp if and when the federal government allows it. The U.S. outlawed hemp production in 1957 because of confusion with hemp's cousin, the marijuana plant. The bill's author believes it could be a big cash crop for farmers now. Supporters say hemp grows quickly. It can be harvested in 120 days after planting and has multiple uses in automobile manufacturing and high-quality plastics. But critics claim that marijuana growers could easily hide the illegal drug in a field of industrial hemp, largely the reason for hemp's being made illegal. An IU student arrested Wednesday has admitted to possessing equipment and chemicals, but has pled not guilty for attempted manufacturing of an explosive device. He's being held on a $1 million bond at the Monroe County Jail. Bloomington police said in a press release that investigators determined Ryder Pickens had been searching the web for terms such as weapons of mass destruction and effects of sarin gas. Packages that arrived at the apartment after Pickens was detained contained enough chemicals to build an explosive. And a Hoosier legal scholar is bound for the 2014 Winter Olympic in so Olympics in Sochi, Russia. Gary Roberts is Dean Emeritus of the IUPUI McKinney School of Law and a sports law expert. He leaves Tuesday for the World Sporting Spectacle, where he'll serve as one of nine arbitrators on the special tribunal that will settle any legal disputes that may come up during the games. And here's a look at the weather tonight. Lows around 18 degrees, 90 percent chance of snow. Here's a look at the five-day forecast. Tomorrow will be mostly cloudy with a 40 percent chance of snow with highs in the mid-20s. A 50% chance of snow on Sunday. Monday, highs will drop back into the single digits around 9 degrees.